Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. Today I'm back painting another model from Arcadia Quest Pets. It's an expansion to Arcadia Quest, Arcadia Quest Inferno, and this is Bones, the little skeleton dude. So, we're going to start by using Army Painter's Colour Primer, the skeleton bone colour. If you've not got that, any primer, and then paint on a bony colour, and you're going to be at this state here. This is Austin doing this for me to begin with, because I accidentally, I painted this ages ago, and I accidentally deleted the footage. So, luckily he's got it, and he's got the same hobby holder as me and he's managed to get the same background so you can barely tell it's not me. He's then going to be using deep shader by the army painter and applying a wash entirely over this entire model. This model is a piece of cake to do. It's going to be a nice quick one. I was mainly just making this video the day after to sort of contrast to yesterday's video. I had a couple of subscribers check that I'm okay if I was ill. I sounded a little bit depressed perhaps yesterday but actually what it was is I just filmed that six months ago so you can see the sort of production values and how they've changed in six months and different microphone thanks to big thanks to all the subscribers for keeping the channel going and a big thanks to all the patreon subscribers for helping me you know sort of improve my camera and my microphone that's potentially why i sound a lot better suddenly <laughs> well suddenly six months later so this video's a nice quick easy one if you've never painted before this is this is, don't get easier than this it's one color one wash and two highlights so i'm taking back out that skeleton bone here and i'm going to be dry brushing that all over this model so I've got next to no paint on that dry brush. I'm going to very, very lightly sort of start by caressing his eyebrows and just get some of this paint. Just uh, it's a really sort of textured model. I don't like it. I don't love it. I, I'm pretty sure bone's quite smooth. It doesn't have all these ridges in, but these ridges do make it really, really easy to dry brush. So I'm just working against the grain, making sure the paint's catching on the sort of raised parts of the of the skull. Uh, and leaving the, the shade in, in those recesses and the recesses all over it. It's got some nice ones, a big crack in the skull at the back. So that's that's a nice bit that you want the, the wash to be in. So yeah, just avoid the dry brush in any of the shaded areas, the recesses that you want to leave shaded and pay extra attention to the most raised bits. So that were at, at sort of around his eye sockets, his skeleton body. I did it quite a bit on his hands because they look like they'd be catching the light and his kneecaps and his elbows that sort of thing. After that, we're just going to do another dry brush, exactly the same technique, basically exactly the same places, sort of lighter. And then, uh, yeah, I guess you, I guess you're applying this more gently, even more gently than before, because this is going to be white primer, just neat white primer. And this is going to really make him sort of glow where you catch this. So for this one, you want to be catching it on sort of the eye sockets, uh, sort of right on the very, very edge, the most pokey out bit and then I'm also just going to make sure I get some on his sort of jaw on his chin and around his mouth that sort of area and then same as before I'm just going to make his make his hands sort of glow a little bit more because they're sort of face on so I think his hands would be a bit more lit and so it's his kneecaps and then after that I will just sort of do it super super gently sort of all over the skull just to, mainly to blend it but just to lighten it up because I think the light would be shining on his head more than more than anywhere else. So that's just going to take a couple of minutes. This whole model took no time at all. And that's it. That's that's how I'm going to leave the skeleton bone. I think that's that's what I was sort of saying about the textures. I don't love it. I don't think it would have all these dark lines all over its head. But yeah, you know that's how the model is, and I didn't have much choice. After that, I'm just going to use dead black and paint in his mouth. I thought he had a tongue. I thought wrong. Just looking at the art, and he didn't have one, so I'm just painting this black. And I thought his eyes were white as well, so I really liked how the the shade had gone round his eye sockets, but actually they're black, so it didn't I didn't need to do that at all. So I painted those in black. Then I'm gonna use Mormfang Brown from Citadel, as I always do on all of my Arcadia Quest bases, and just painting in the base coat of the base. And then we're gonna use Agolan Earth, which is a texture paint by Citadel, and this you apply this fairly thickly and then after a few uh, maybe an hour maybe two hours it will it will dry and it will crack and form a sort of desert arid textured base and i'm just using that for all of my arcadia quest models and i think it's a really quick way of getting quite a nice base so I'm just filling in that base while i was waiting for that black to dry on his eyes so once i've finished the base i'm going to go back and do his pupils and i'm going to use livery green by vallejo it's just the brightest most vivid is that the right term it's really really bright i love this green i think if you've been watching the channel a while any excuse to use it, it looks like in the art it might be green so just getting my bright bright livery green on the pupils really enjoyed that that's completely finished I'm afraid i've because i lost the footage i'm not entirely sure how long it took this one but it was like 20 minutes 
<laughs> no time whatsoever, maybe even less. I mean, you saw how little it was. I think he looks fine. It was a really, really quick win. Really enjoy that. I've got another model painted, another pet ready to go. So as I mentioned at the start, thank you very much for the concern. Hopefully this sounds a lot better and I sound like my usual self. And then finally, just a massive thank you for all the support over the last year. And I'll be back tomorrow with something a little bit more substantial. Thank you all very much for watching.